Hello everyone. Today we'd have a look at resource management in Siloxis. Let's have a look at the objectives. View the real-time utilization of resources across projects. Your resources could be working on multiple projects, but you'd want to see a consolidated view. Drill down to pinpoint problems. You should be able to understand the causes of the conflicts. Easily ensure optimal allocation of resources. Reallocation should be convenient and quick. Track plan versus actual effort. Enter holidays, time offs, and work exceptions for resources. And get reports across multiple dimensions to help you make strategic and tactical decisions. Let's now move to the tool. The workload view is easily accessible from the main menu right here. Here, the resources are on the left, while on the right, each cell shows the total allocated hours for a resource on a particular day. For example, Ethan is working for a total of 8 hours on the 28th of November. These cells are color coded to help you visually identify problems. As you would expect, red is for over allocation, blue indicates under allocation, whereas green means optimal allocation. Here, you can see that Ethan is over allocated from the 6th of December till the 12th of December. Let's try to understand what is causing the conflict. We can drill down to see the projects and the tasks. As we can see, Ethan is working on these two projects. If we drill down even more, we can see his tasks. Here we can see these two tasks are allocated on the same dates resulting in this conflict. To resolve this conflict, we can either push the task to a later date when he is free or we can reassign it to someone else. Let's see if we can find someone else who is free during the same period. We can see the Jack is free during the same days. So let's reassign this task to Jack. Now we can see that the conflict is resolved and both Ethan and Jack will be notified of this change. You can also add holidays from the screen. Let's add a holiday for Grace. Now, all the tasks assigned to Grace on this day will automatically be pushed one day ahead. You can also customize this view. For example, let's change the period of this report to this year and keep the zoom level to month. Now, we are seeing the resource workload for every month in this year. You can also create your own views. Let's have a look at some examples. In this view, we are seeing the utilization by job roles. Analyst is a job role that is played by Alex Nelson, Finlay Turner and so on. And the utilization is shown in percentage instead of hours. And we have set the zoom to week. You can also view the data by department. Here you can see that for department marketing, these are the people working in the marketing department. And you can drill down further to also look at the projects and tasks each one is working on. You can even group the data based on your custom fields. We have attached a custom field called country to resources. Now this view shows us the utilization by country. Like other views, you can drill down to view the resources. Lastly, in this report, you can see a color coded plan versus actual comparison of the utilization. For example, you can see that Ethan in this week was allocated for 80% of his time. However, he took 100% of his time. You can drill down to understand what happened. You also can export this view in various formats. 
As you can see, we provide quite a few options. Last but not the least, we can also customize this color coding logic. In this example, if a person is utilized between 90% and 110% of his time, they will be treated as optimally allocated. Less than 90% means he is under allocated, while above 110% would mean over allocated. So this was all about resource management. Thank you.